Now's the chance to vote for your February Ride of the Month in association with Coral. Vote A for John Joe O'Neill Jr.'s strong ride on Inch House at Chepstow. The pair travelled comfortably for much of the race, but when asked for a bit more, O'Neill's mount began to hang left. Inch House just carrying the head slightly awkwardly, landed awkwardly as well. The horse drifted left again, approaching the last. Inch House continuing to hang and make it tricky for the rider. But O'Neill was all strength in the saddle to correct his mount and guide Inch House to victory. A neck between them, now half a length, and it's Inch House who will get home by three quarters of a length. Vote B for Ross Ryan's power-packed ride on a naff at Lingfield. A slow break from stall three meant the pair were plum last. A little bit messy at the start for Anaf, who's just behind the speed early on for this Bet UK catchy stakes. After settling at the rear, the rider made his move, swinging for home. Anaf is trying to make up some ground a bit to do. Threading their way through the pack, Ryan and Anaf claimed listed glory in fine fashion. And here he comes on the inside with a noseband. Out wider, exalted angel. Diligent Harry is in there pitching too. It's Anaf in front, and Anaf has come from a long way back to win the catchy stakes. Three in a row for Anaf. Vote C for Jamie Spencer's commanding ride on Spring Promise at Lingfield. Spencer dictated the pace from the start, taking his mount to the lead. Choicea comes through together with Spring Promise, and these two, the market principals, head one and two towards the first bend. Turning for home, the duo had the advantage, spearheading a group of four. In the closing stages, Spencer and Spring Promise were pressed on both sides, but battled on well to come out on top. In the middle is Spring Promise, Choicea far side, Punterell this side, as they hit the line, it is Spring Promise. Vote D for Sean Quinlan's brilliant ride on Bertie's Wish at Sedgefield. Quinlan had to use all his strength to guide the hard-pulling Bertie's Wish around the first bend. Wide outside and looking rather keen now, Bertie's Wish. The horse continued to go the long way around. Looking uh, unsteerable, Bertie's Wish, into that turn. But despite complications, Quinlan controlled his mount well and kept Bertie's Wish straight in the closing stages to claim victory. Bertie's Wish will pack one in to stop a little bit. He's racing the choke out. He hasn't been straightforward, but Bertie's Wish has won it. Vote E for Jack Tudor's tenacious ride on Kitty's Light in the Ida Chase at Newcastle. Kitty's Light never seemed to be travelling best, and a mistake in the back straight saw Tudor come off the bridle. Kitty's light wasn't particularly good there, hit it quite hard. With plenty of work to do in the closing stages, the pair began to close the gap on the leaders. Kitty's light is driven up into fourth, plugging away. Despite a saddle slip going over the last, Tudor managed to drive Kitty's light to the line brilliantly to land the pot. Kitty's light comes alongside, inches ahead. Kitty's light now forging on from the galloping bear, and it's going to be back-to-back -back wins of the Ida for Christian Williams. Kitty's light. Too strong for the galloping bear. Simply visit at theraces.com forward slash ride to cast your vote and be in with a chance of winning a £100 funded betting account courtesy of Coral. Voting closes at 11pm on Sunday the 12th of March.